Hey Star Wars Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. This time with Obi-Wan Kenobi from the new Phantom Menace uh, Vintage Collection Wave. So he has actually been released uh, about four or five times this year in the Movie Heroes line, in the Discover the Force Wave, the Walmart Exclusive, the um, in a vehicle deluxe set with a Naboo Star Fighter. And I think that's it. And of course, this one. Um, he will also. He was also released recently in the Blu-ray commemorative four-pack. And so, a lot of different uh, different ways to get him. So he's a repack from the Legacy Collection you know, from 2008. And I chose to get the Phantom Menace one because it came with the robe. And that's mainly the main reason. You know, I do like the. The package look to the vintage collection too but mostly because I wanted the robe so anyways let's get on to the the, the figure first we'll look at actually the packaging so very good image on the card itself of Obi-Wan so this is my first my first Obi-Wan Padawan figure so you know saw so many versions of him I decided just to get them <laughs> And there's the back. Okay. Anyways, the figure itself. Okay, so like I said, this is a repack. It's been repacked, like I said, quite a few times. Okay. Uh, the head sculpt. You know, I I don't really like the head sculpt. Uh, I think it could be way better, being that it's an older figure. Maybe that's the reason why it's not that accurate to to the movie version of Obi-Wan but uh, yeah not a big fan okay uh, the braids okay kinda hangs down you know not the best could have been better also uh, the body itself is nice so you know of course you get the soft goods robe which is uh, not too big, like some robes tend to be. Okay. So let's take it off to get a better look at the figure. Okay. All right. So the robe itself is um, looks good. Flows nicely. It's got the the wrinkles and the folds, so that looks pretty good. Uh, this part of the of the tunic is of the robe is soft goods, and this part right here is plastic. It's a different shade color compared to the rest of the figure, but it's not that big of a deal. The belt looks good. Some detail right there. The boots are nicely sculpted. So, okay. I, I do like the body of the figure. Not so much the head, but definitely the body. It's for articulation. You got a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, swivel wrists, a ball jointed torso, swivel hips, ball jointed uh, knees, and ball jointed ankles. So great, pretty good articulation. Very good. As for accessories, you get his lightsaber. Hmm. Looks good. Nice handle. And a com link, which is seen throughout various parts of the movie. So nice little extra. I mean, it's not the greatest little accessory, but it's fine. So, anyways, overall, the figure is pretty good. So, in the long run, I am very glad I got him. You know, I, I have Obi Wan from Revenge of the Sith, and didn't have the Padawan version of him. So, you know, it's the best one out there. So, definitely 
recommend it if you don't have it. And of course, if you already do, there's no reason you should get them again, unless you want to keep them carded and you want the different packaging. Okay. So, anyways, uh, that's it for today. That's it for this review. So, subscribe. You know, let me know what you think. And until next time, may the force be with you.